it seemed like that storm hit a bunch of sundown towns. I don't know. You tell me. Y'all ain't tell me. But it seemed like a lot of the town, a lot of the places where it hit, and it didn't even hit none of the places it was really supposed to hit the hardest. It hit a bunch of the sundown towns up there in North Carolina and Tennessee. Now, I'm not wishing bad on them, but I'm just saying, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know what's going on. I'm telling you, man, my intuition be working crazy sometimes because that's exactly what I was thinking. And it seems like I was right. It is a lot of sundown towns. Let's check it out together. I think y'all understand how bad it is in the southeast right now. We have towns that don't exist anymore. Chimney Rock is, is gone. All right, he just mentioned Chimney Rock. Now we're going to look at the demographic in Chimney Rock. Let's check it out. Chimney Rock demographics. The, rich, the racial makeup of the village was 94% white. You know what I'm saying? Native American. Then you got other races. Black is not even in there. All right. So there's a goals fact number one for y'all. It's crazy. Let's check out another one. The city of Asheville is cut off from the world. This this is not an. Now let's check out Asheville. Let's see what the demographic of Asheville is like. Asheville. We got 80% white. Black or African American, ten percent, and then the other races, four percent, and then one, and then one percent. So as you can see, the majority is like white, and you know that's somewhat of a sundown town, or obviously majority of a white town. So yeah, you know he's right, and my intuition was right too. Let's see what else you say real quick. This is on Highway 123 heading from Aisley to, uh, to Greenville. And this was a one mile long line to get gas because they were the only people we knew around that had gas left. I got all the way to the end and they were out. They had no gas. We checked every gas station in Pickens and Aisley and, and Liberty. So I guess you said, you know, Aisley, Pickens and Liberty. I'm not sure what. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Quraysh. Double honor to the apostles, the Elsberg Millstone, and Satish Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. I mean, I'll get the point of, the vid of this video that's playing here. And um, the, the areas that got hit by this hurricane the hardest are areas heavily populated by Edomites. All right. A lot of people are even saying very, you know, these these towns are racist. Don't have a history of a racist past. Sundown towns, even. Now, before you got all these, you got a, not a, you got some niggas that get on here. Sundown towns don't even exist anymore. There's niggas that live. Hey, look, the whole thing of a sundown town was niggas could be there, but you if you was traveling, you need to be out by sundown, or you need to be housed by sundown. All right, point blank, period. And let's not forget about niggas are still getting lynched to this day. All right? To this day, man. Niggas are, niggas are simple. And, 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 that, and that's the thing. You got a lot of niggas that, that love uh, uh, Esau, man. So there's some casualties. But as much as this is a judgment for Esau, this is a time for you niggas to, to, to realize you need to fucking repent and return to the Lord, man. Because our father's coming to judge this place. This is just the beginning. These are just the, the early signs that the Lord is finna pay Esau back for what he's done. And you niggas that still follow Esau, you're gonna go down with him. Okay? Point blank, period. Um, Cause yeah, you got some comments here, man. You got some that clearly agree. But then you got uh Right, yeah, you haven't heard of redlining. Like, it's a reason why this shit is separate. They, they made it like this. But you got, like, um, Sundown Town's ignorant statement. Because I live in South Carolina, and a lot of majority black areas got destroyed. And this bitch mentions an area. Uh, I'm here in Lex, South Carolina. There's a street to my neighbor's house, and in Columbia. Mind you, almost 60% black. So I went and looked up Lexington, South Carolina. And it's 77% white. Well, 
What do I see right here? This is this is Edomite. Talking about the, the city. Hey, hey, come back. Girly. Girly. Cage. Y'all ass tripping. Cage. Cage, boy. Cage. Open it. All right, so look at Lexington County, man. This shit, this this said eighty percent. So these people are just these are eating my love. These are people that love America. They're gonna fall with America. And, and let me grab that, man. Let me grab that. And proverbs. Dang. I didn't want to use this one. This is a uh, Proverbs eleven twenty one. Though hand join a hand, the wicked should not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right. So you you can have your 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 fake kumbaya all you want. Your you know holding on to the wicked all you want. End of the day, they're gonna fall, man. All right, the wicked is gonna fall, and you niggas are gonna fall with. That's why it says, uh, uh, "Touch no unclean thing," and and it's Isaiah fifty two and eleven. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from this. Touch no unclean thing, go ye out of. Uh, uh, yeah, release. Out of the midst, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. I guess that was a bad idea while I'm doing this lesson. Honey. Potty, potty. Yeah, go potty. potty. Okay, let them outside. I'm sorry, y'all. The woman just walked in and the dogs are going crazy. I didn't, uh... Expect that. Oh my gosh. Um. Right. So touch the uh, no unclean thing, man. So be separate, because if you uh, if you attach this place, you're gonna fall with this place, man. Point blank. Period. All right. Point blank. Period. If you if you if you attach to Babylon, you're gonna fall with Babylon, man. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children that said that save the Lord. Woe to the rebellious children save the Lord that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with the covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves to the strength of Pharaoh. So you want to, and we know this is modern day Egypt, Revelation 11 and 8. The place we're taken to on slave ships is modern day Egypt. So you want to be an Egyptian, an American, you want to follow them, and you want to, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. You're going to fall with them, man. Point blank, period. All right? So, let's um get back on topic, you know, grab these other little precepts. Oh, I had some other stuff I, I had pulled up, because everybody keep talking about this Asheville. So I ended up looking into it, and I would have to scroll, log, like log in to scroll through all the responses on threads. I don't have a thread account, but you see uh, what I typed in, Asheville Sundown Town. It says, there's a post going around about alleged sundown cities in North Carolina. So this is the thing from June 28th, 2024, and its founding days is... It, it likely was a sundown town considered his name for a rabid racist. Then it's dot, 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 Asheville. It's on private, pri so it goes through this list. And I can click on it. I can preview some things. And this is uh, someone who's travels. And they putting together lists of, like places that you really 
need to be cautious about. Okay? So before not few a few months ago before this happened, they came up. Now, you know some more didn't can be done on it, but fact of the matter is a whole the entire America is built on bloodshed. And that's the point. This is just the beginning. This is just gorgeous. All right, the Lord is coming to judge this entire nation, man. And you niggas better take heed. Because that's who the scourges are really for. To everybody else, I mean, it's the scourge technically still. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and all. But they not going to get right. Hey, this is 2nd Ezra 16, 17. What was me? What was me? Who had delivered me in those days? It's about to get crazy out here. All right? And only the elect is going to have that hedge about them. Psalms 91st chapter. The beginning of sorrow. Let me make sure I got this on. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. <laughs> what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague. Tribulation and anguish. Are sent as scourges for amendment. So you have to take these things as a sign that it, it and it's been happening a lot more, all type of crazy shit. All right, of course, with the prophecies talk about the earthquakes in diverse places. All right, we seen these hurricanes, these storms, uh, uh, these wild. Hey, what happened? This is just just recent, a couple years back. All right, so it's still recent, and it's the middle of the summertime. It was wildfires in Alaska, and it was snowing in Mexico. All right? You got to really consider what times we in, man. So the Lord is bringing scourges for amendment, and that means to change. But, um, but for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So they're not going to consider. All right? So you got people telling you. These are regular niggas on the internet even mentioning this is payback. Now they're going off. This is the ancestors doing this. You know, they, you know, now it is a judgment for what happened to our ancestors. But this is the Heavenly Father doing this, man. All right. Hey, this is Amos. Th through your house, Shia, let me make sure I say that right. Because hey, the prophecy in Daniel says what? The Lord gave a judgment over to his son. <coughs> this is, um, I want all your Amos. Amos 3. Amos 9, verse 9. <laughs> that's the inside. That's a lot. It's Amos 3, and uh, <laughs> but thought you watch this, man. He gonna, he gonna chuckle his ass off. This Amos 3, and um, man, 5. Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? So in order for this bird to fall, there has to be a trap set. All right? There has to be work done. And you don't pull up your snare from the earth until you caught something. All right? So this place is surely finna fall. It's all set. The, the stage is set. And the Lord is making it clear he's finna pull the trap up. He's putting out the warnings, the, the, the scourges. He's a fair power. He's letting it be known. All right, if you're going to repent, this is your chance, which he know they not. But for the elect, this is, just, we, we're realizing now, this is, we got to get fucking serious because the Lord is going to judge this place. It's all you niggas on the internet talking about the ancestors did this, this for that. Y'all better really fucking consider what y'all saying because you, you, you're not going to be, uh, uh you're not going to have an excuse, man. Because you know enough to know that all the shit that these devils have done in America, then you know that there has to be a judgment for it, man. So you 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 here in America, man, you better get your ass right. So you don't partake in their judgments. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? So we know that Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, all right, has done this, man. And this is just the beginning.
So I ended up looking up because there was so much controversy about people saying it's not this, it's not that. I ended up looking into like what, okay, some some of the stuff the hurricane hit. But that video we looked at <laughs> did a great job. And I found that afterwards. I had another video. I accidentally swiped up, so I lost it. But I found that one that was perfect. So, but I'm still going to use this because I had already looked into it and it's some good stuff, right? So, um, I'm going to skip through Hurricane Helene, Lay Waste in Southeastern United States, Wind Force, Daily Floods, Path of Destruction, Finding Miles, from Florida to the South uh, Appalachians, uh, 130 deaths, the toll may rise, communities were cut off, stranded as flood. Stranded as floodwaters washed away hundreds of roads, building homes, vehicles, communications infrastructure and shreds. Millions of people have also lost water, uh, power, access to water across at least six states. Um, Helene's path of devastation started at Florida's Gulf Coast to Big Bend, Category 4. Right? So the first thing shown here is Tampa Bay. Waters rose to at least six feet, submerging many vehicles and residents. And that, and I hit the brother up in Tampa you know, to make sure he was straight, to make sure they were straight. And he said they just got strong winds, really. So you see this, this is the worst Tampa probably got right here was some 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 water. And you know he said they were straight. So he, the way he described it was like, and yeah, we just had high winds, right? Okay, and that's because. Well, clearly it's Jake that the Lord had mercy on his elect. Plain and simple. His brothers down there teaching Lord had mercy. They may they may even have a flooded a flooded basement. Who knows? They may not have a flooded basement, but their house ain't get washed away. They're alive. They're not going through what these other. So the Lord had extreme mercy, and I don't think nothing even happened really because he didn't mention it. Okay. And we know when shit really cracked, the Lord's going to have a hedge about his elect, man. Will certain things happen? We're going to see. The Lord, what we know is what we what the scriptures say. To what extent or how, what the Lord allows, we're going to see. But the elect will have a hedge. Um, so it talks about west of Tampa, flooded, burn the house. Then further north, see the key. Uh, the storm was widespread. You know, shit happens, right? Then we get to big flooding and big bends. Sting Hatchet community is not uncommon. But as Helene made landfall, locals say it spawned the worst flooding they ever seen. Um, Right, some homes in uh, Stain Hatchie even floated away with the storm surge. So it missed different parts in Florida, but look what it hit. And that was another thing the videos were saying. The place it was supposed to get hardest, it didn't hit, but it hit X, Y, Z, right? The, the, the demographic in Stain Hatchie, Florida is white, non Hispanic people, it's not a big population. But it's 100% white. So there you go. So again, the areas that got hit are, eat, are mainly eating my areas. Even you scroll down, let's look at another place. Let's look at Georgia. But we're going to look at the, the, where all niggas is at. Atlanta. Atlanta saw the highest 48-hour rainfall totals on record. But that's all they got was, was rain. All right. A lot of rain, but it's just rain. All right. But Atlanta got rain, all right? Um, and that was really the point on that. This is what grabs my precepts. Uh, what, what the what was what I grab? Oh, yeah, Isaiah. Twenty nine and six. 
Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So the heavenly father, uh, he's, he's, he's at work here, man. Okay. These are just scourges and soon America will be touched because the Lord did not, hey, regardless if it's not a sundown town officially now, it was one and you haven't been judged for it. And there's plenty of, the system is still against us. It's point is that simple. Look what you promote as far as a black image, a sodomite. For a male to be strong, he has to be soft and he has to be soft and a sodomite. Look at Damon. All right, uh, uh, Terry Crews. Or he has to be a gang banging ass nigga. How did Little Wayne earn his way to national TV by being a a a, a, a pill popping animal, a syrup sipping nigga? Why is he on ESPN? Why is he on daytime TV? Because he's a degenerate. This the image you want to push. Why is Megan Thee Stallion, this, this bitch that pushes stock culture, even though we know the election is bullshit, why is she the performing for the, uh, a Democratic candidate for 2024? Because that's the black image of a female, a thought that's, that's going to twerk. A bad bitch, as they say. Esau set this shit up, man. Like the other kind of mention, redlining. All right. Everybody's talking about Navy Federal and how they deny so many amount of uh, black loan, sinker, uh, loan seekers. This place is just against us, man. Plain and simple. Either the Lord is going to judge you for that. So you have a, a past of bloodshed. And to this day, you fucking still show your hatred. You still hang niggas. You still... Uh, we we still get the worst quality of shit. A white woman, a so-called white woman, went into how the milk in black neighborhoods uh, uh, are be radioactive. You will actually put radioactive milk in niggas' neighborhoods, and one of your own brothers info out. So you're still guilty. You're still killing us to this day. Um, Ecclesiastes 5 and 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in the province, marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. So the Lord sees all the uh, uh, injustice, all right, all the oppression that's being done here. Okay, plain and simple. And you know, I'm in those numbers. This is numbers 3533. So you, sh so you should not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So, fact of the matter is, America will be destroyed. With that, <laughs> all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, Bahasham, Rakat, Quraj. Double honor to the apostle of the great millstone. And Southeast Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Shalom, Wa Baba Ball.